I have officially been using DIY rosemary oil every single week on my hair for six months straight. This has easily been one of the most popular hair treatments or trends for the last like year or two now. And I know some of you probably have a lot of questions like what is it? Does it work? How does it work? Does it actually work? So today I'm here to hopefully answer all of these questions for you and also share my own personal experience and results after using it for six months. And hopefully this video gives you everything you need to know about rosemary oil. Hey everyone, it's Ariel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I've been kind of sharing my like rosemary oil journey with you guys, but my last video about it was posted, I think like six or seven months ago now. And since then I've been using it religiously, like every single time I wash my hair. So I wanted to give you guys a little update now that I've actually been using it for a while and I've had time to like really see how it works and what it does to my hair. And I've gotten quite a few comments from you guys asking for an update. So I really hope this video helps you. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And let's get into the video. So first and foremost, let's talk about what rosemary oil even is and what it does. I did a quick Google search to find out the real answer for this. And according to WebMD, rosemary is an herb native to the Mediterranean region. The leaf and its oil are commonly used in food and also to make medicine. Rosemary seems to increase blood circulation when applied to the scalp, which might help hair follicles grow. So lots of big claims on hair growth. That's probably the biggest claim or benefit that rosemary oil is said to provide. And we'll definitely talk about that in this video. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which can also help with growth and the overall health of your hair, as well as providing relief for an itchy scalp. And I know people talk about this a lot too, but rosemary oil has also been compared to minoxidil, which is a medication used to treat hair loss. And studies have shown that rosemary oil can be just as effective as minoxidil in treating certain forms of hair loss. Now, what are the benefits of rosemary oil? So what will it actually do to your hair? Most commonly, it promotes hair growth, reduces hair fall, or helps prevent or treat hair loss. It has anti-inflammatory, antifungal properties, helps improve blood circulation and promote nerve growth. It can help nourish the scalp, condition your hair, reduce split ends, prevent dandruff, and help treat a dry or itchy scalp. And also, I don't know about this one, but it's also supposed to prevent premature graying. I don't know how that even works. Now, some of these benefits are not backed by actual science, so we kind of have to take them at face value. But according to this 2017 study, I think it's by PubMed, it says that when hair loss is caused by an infection or an unhealthy scalp, rosemary oil might actually help because of its ability to kill some fungi and bacteria. However, rosemary oil should not replace standard treatments. So again, this is just kind of a DIY treatment and there is some evidence showing that rosemary oil can be effective in treating hair loss. But if you do have signs of hair loss, it's definitely a good idea to get it checked by a doctor and make sure that you don't need any actual medication instead of just relying on a DIY treatment to fix your hair loss. But on that note, if you are someone who just wants to improve the health of their hair, they want to promote hair growth, they want to try an affordable, accessible DIY treatment option that could potentially provide some of the benefits that we just talked about, then it might be worth a try. So now let's talk about how to make rosemary oil. Now, there are several different DIY recipes, so you do have a few options for how you can make it. Option number one, which was the first method that I used in my first rosemary oil video, is to use fresh rosemary leaves. So in this case, you would use half a cup of rosemary leaves and one cup of oil. Simmer that over low heat for like 15 to 20 minutes. Let it cool, strain the leaves, and then you have DIY rosemary oil. Now, you do have to keep this one in the fridge, and it only lasts about a week or two. So this is probably my least favorite method for making rosemary oil just because it's not as easy to use up and it goes bad way faster but if you're someone who would rather use fresh rosemary to make your oil this is definitely an option that you can try and then option number two which is my personal favorite which is a method that I used in my second rosemary oil video is to use dried rosemary leaves so for this recipe you use one tablespoon of dried rosemary leaves with two cups of oil combine that in a mason jar some sort of glass container, let it sit in the sun for two weeks, then strain it, and then you have your dried rosemary oil. And this is my favorite because it lasts a year and you don't even have to keep it in the fridge. So this to me is the best method for making rosemary oil. You don't have to worry about it going bad or not using it up in time. And you also don't have to worry about like remaking it. Like once you make that first batch, it's good for a year. So as long as you make enough, you're gonna have it for a year. Super easy DIY recipe. And I also love this one because you can literally just keep it on your shelf or in your cabinet or with the rest of your beauty products. And it just feels like another product on your shelf. 
but you made it so it's kind of cool this is the method that i personally still use to make my rosemary oil and i seriously love it definitely recommend and there is one final option that you can use which is to use rosemary essential oil the most important thing to remember with using rosemary essential oil is that it needs to be mixed with either a carrier oil or even like mixed in with your shampoo you just need to make sure that you are diluting it and not putting it directly onto your scalp and hair. So for this method, you would just do like four or five drops of rosemary essential oil. Mix that in with a few teaspoons or tablespoons of your favorite carrier oil. So this could be jojoba oil, almond oil, coconut oil, olive oil, whatever you like. That goes with all of these methods, by the way. You can use whatever oil you prefer, or whatever works best for your hair. Or again, you could just add a few drops to your shampoo before you wash it and dilute it that way. Those are three different options, different recipes, different methods of making rosemary oil. You should get Get the same benefits from each method as long as you're using it the right way so you can choose whichever method you like best but again my personal favorite is to use the dried rosemary oil it's just so easy and i love it so the last thing i want to share with you guys is my own personal experience and also my result and again i've been using rosemary oil every week for six months and i've definitely seen some positive improvements to my hair the first one being drum roll please <laughs> hair growth Again, one of the biggest claims of what rosemary oil is supposed to do for your hair and I have noticed that my hair has grown a lot faster than it did before I started using rosemary oil and I've also been able to retain length easier since using the rosemary oil. I'll try to insert a clip of how my hair looked when I first used it just so you can get an idea of how much it's grown, how it's changed. In my opinion, it looks so much healthier now and definitely longer. I've also noticed that my baby hairs have been growing in, which was one of the main concerns that I had when I started using rosemary oil. I noticed that my hairline was starting to kind of thin a little bit i was having like i don't want to call it hair loss but i did notice that my hairline felt a little bit thinner to me and i'll do a close-up of that too so you guys can see because you can actually see my baby hairs like regrowing so my hairline definitely feels fuller my baby hairs have grown back i wish i would have taken like before and after measurements so that i could actually like show you guys how much it's grown but hopefully from the before and after you can see the difference so i've definitely noticed hair growth i do feel like my hair is thicker than it was as well i feel like the health of my hair overall has improved like it feels less damaged it's not breaking off as easily on the ends which again is how i was able to retain more length i also this one kind of surprised me but i also feel like the color of my hair has gotten like a bit more rich or like bold i don't know if that makes sense but i do feel like the color of my hair has improved since using rosemary oil which i was not expecting at all i will say that i have still experienced an itchy scalp that's something that i i've always kind of struggled with i don't know like i feel like when i apply the rosemary oil it does soothe and moisturize my scalp like when it's in my hair i can feel it working but i do still struggle with some itchiness of the scalp so i can't say that that benefit I've noticed to my hair and I do still have some minimal dandruff nothing crazy but I'm not sure if the rosemary oil has really improved that at all and also I haven't seen any difference in like my grays not that I have a lot of gray hairs but I do have a few and I mean they're still there but overall this has become one of my favorite hair treatments I love that it's a DIY product I love that it's affordable and easy to make so like anybody can make this you can just go to your local grocery store and buy rosemary either fresh rosemary leaves or dried rosemary leaves or you can even buy rosemary essential oil so it's really accessible and it also works for all hair types so to me it's one of my absolute favorite DIY products and treatments I love using it in my routine it has definitely become a staple for me and over the last six months of using rosemary oil every single Single week I've definitely noticed more positive benefits and not really any negative ones so I definitely plan to continue using it I will also say just to kind of wrap up this video that it's definitely gonna take time to see results from using this so you're not gonna see any changes overnight or just from one use it takes time and I actually looked up exactly how long you should wait to see if there's really any changes to your hair and it says online that it takes four to six weeks to see changes to your scalp so the amount of hydration that it's giving to your scalp and it takes three three months to see any hair growth results so you have to make sure that you're giving this time to work if you are going to try it or if you have been trying it definitely just want to mention that it won't be like a one-time treatment you have to stick with it and be consistent and at least give it a good amount of time to see if it's providing you any good benefits and definitely let me know if you guys want like a rosemary oil routine video where i show you like how i actually use it and kind of like the application method that i found works the best leave a comment down below let me know if you want that and i'll make sure to 
film that for you. And also let us know if you've tried rosemary oil and how it worked for you. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let us know. Leave a comment. And with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.